Hey everybody, I'm Sunglass Rob from SportRx, but today I think we're gonna change my name to Insert Rob because we're gonna talk about the differences between the SportRx Ski Goggle, Snow Goggle Insert and the Smith ODS-3 Insert. Pros, cons, which one I like better, which one we would recommend, what they're all good for. Let's just get started. Um, I'm gonna just give you a little spoiler alert. The Sporter X inserts better for a lot of reasons. But first of all, inserts, what's the deal? What's going on? What does that mean? If you're watching this video, you're probably already figuring out that you might need some kind of optical solution for skiing or snowboarding or even motocross or mountain biking or snowmobiling. So really, what are your options if you wear a prescription and you wanna do something cool that needs goggles? One is you can try and jam your glasses inside of your goggles. There are there is a such thing as OTG goggles called over the glasses goggles. I'm not a big fan of here at SportRx, we're not a big fan of. These obviously are pretty big chunky glasses which are pretty on trend right now, but even if you have smaller glasses, trying to get your goggles inside of an OTG goggle, which this is, your glasses inside of a goggle, could be difficult, could be uncomfortable, um, can damage your glasses, your expensive glasses. If you only have one pair of glasses, that's no fun. They fog up way easier than the insert system. For a multitude of reasons, glasses inside of goggles is really not a great solution. So some people get contacts. If you get contacts, that's great. Um, if it works for you, I love it, great, wear it, rock it. But for a lot of people at high altitude, at high wind, at cold, at high speed, contacts can dry out, which is a lot of what these sports are about. And then the other option is wearing nothing and not seeing, and that ain't safe for anyone. So here comes the insert. Uh, this is the Sport RX most popular insert right now. And then this is the Smith ODS-3 insert. And the pros and cons, really first thing you're gonna notice is the size of the lens. The SportRx insert is much bigger, gives you much more peripheral vision, much more viewing area. The insert's way less in your way. So that's kind of the first thing you're gonna notice. Um, we also do, by the way, have a smaller insert, a flatter insert for higher prescriptions. We don't really believe in a one size fits all solution here at SportRx. We work with you, we work with your prescription, we work with what goggle you have or what goggle you want and recommend one of our inserts. This newer insert, this bigger one, does fit a lot of goggles, um, and so does this higher RX one, but some goggles you might need a specific insert for, which we've created many different inserts, which is kind of maybe brings me to part two. The Smith ODS goggle insert only fits in a handful of Smith goggles. The um, IOX, the uh, IOXL, the Skyline XL, there's a couple of older ones. I think the Knowledge OTG and the Prophecy OTG, if you still can find those. So not a plethora of goggle choices with the Smith insert. The SportRx insert fits every Smith goggle, pretty much we have the right insert for. Uh, and then a lot of times too, one insert is gonna fit multiple goggles, especially like I'm a bigger guy, so I like the XLs. But then my Smith um, mountain bike goggles, which are amazing, the Squad XL, I, I use the same insert. So a lot of times you're gonna get a lot more like versatility and a lot more use out of the Sport RX insert. So I think that's another pro. Uh, another thing I'm not a fan of on the Smith insert is this Rimlon design. So Rimlon is like almost like a fish line inside that kind of holds the lens in place. Uh, could be a little bit more fragile. Um, you know, it makes them, less frame in the way, I guess, like as far as like optically, so you're not like seeing a frame, but if you're wearing glasses, you're kind of used to a frame and you're used to not seeing it after a second. So I don't really feel like the plastic here on this Sport RX sensor is gonna be in your way, especially how big it is. But Rimlon could be a little bit more fragile. Also, if you have a higher prescription, um, you need to get thicker lenses when you use Rimlon, which makes your whole lens a little thicker and heavier. And the reason why is you can't get the thinnest lens technology or the thinnest center uh, thickness because the Rimlon needs a certain amount of thickness to groove in and put that little fish wire, fish line thing in there. So. Uh, also not great. Also, the SportRx insert's less expensive. We actually don't carry that Smith insert here at SportRx for all the reasons I'm telling you, but I know there's a lot of people that know about the Smith insert that might not know about the SportRx insert. Um, by the way, if you get the SportRx insert at SportRx, we have an amazing See Better guarantee. You're not stuck with it. We always recommend the digital uh, technology and the anti-fog upgrade, it's really worth it. Okay, so how do they fit inside the goggles? I'm gonna take this shield off. I love this goggle, by the way. This is the Smith IOXL. 
Um, let's get that Smith insert in here. So the way this works, I'll try and show you guys best I can, is there's like a groove area here, kind of like the female part, and then this clip thing clips inside of there. It's a little easier to get in than out. You can kind of hear it snap right in there. It's in there. Oh, sorry, insert. Uh, and then this part comes in and out of that. I find that this is a little bit of a weak point. Sometimes this comes out when you don't want it to, but the cool thing is you can clean this without having to unclip this thing. So, um, but taking this thing out is not very easy. Let me put the lens in there and try these on for you. I picked out this lighter kind of overcast day lens on purpose. By the way, quick note, if you're getting a goggle with two sets of lenses, it's not cause like one's, if one gets scratched, you wear the other one, which you can, but usually you're gonna have a darker lens for sunny days and a lighter lens for overcast days. So kind of choose wisely. Anyways, that was a side tip. Uh, so here you can see how the insert, the Smith insert works inside. Let me see if I can get this thing off. First, I like to take that out. This is the part I don't love taking it out because the little clip can, kind of wants to get stuck in the foam and rip the foam a little bit. And I like this goggle, so I don't want to do that. Okay. And then the Sport RX insert, just with a little bit of pressure from these springs. Oh, by the way, we also put a little bit of rubber, um, like silicone on the corners of our newer inserts and that prevents it from scratching the inside of your goggle shield. So there is the Sport RX insert. So it's less expensive. You get more peripheral. It's more customized to a goggle. There's a lot more goggle options. It'll work in other brand goggles. It'll work in other sport goggles, most likely. It's better. <laughs> There's so many different ways it's better. Uh, Smith makes fantastic goggles. Some of the be most popular goggles for snowboarding and skiing. And then uh, their squad goggle for mountain biking is one of my favorite pieces of mountain bike optical equipment I've had in a long time. Uh, the ODS system. As you can tell, I'm not a huge fan of. Oh, by the way, if you still want to get the ODS system, God bless you, you can't get it from SportRx, but um, make sure for goggles, you're getting the ODS-3. They also have an ODS-4, which works on a couple pair of their glasses. Used to be a long time ago, one insert worked on the sunglasses and the glasses with different adapters, but they don't do that anymore. So you'd have to get two inserts, um, but be careful with this ODS-4. It's made out of stainless steel and it's still with Rimlock and the top, although it's not sharp, it's not dull. I wouldn't recommend wearing this inside of a sport pair of glasses. I think it could almost be damaging in a bad accident. So just be careful if you're gonna get the ODS for ski goggles that you get the three, not the four. All right, that was a lot of information. That was a long video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like uh, this kind of content, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comment section or pick up the phone, call us. Uh, you can live chat with us. You can send us an email. We have really friendly, knowledgeable opticians. A lot of us ski, a lot of us snowboard, a lot of us mountain bike. We can dial you into the best system you've ever had, the best setup you've ever had for your sport. Our whole goal is to help you see better while doing what you love. Okay, bye, see you later.